A new training pipeline for fresh cadets of the George H.W. Bush Composite Squadron began today with an open house for the public and a special ceremony. KX reporter Epiphany Lachey was there and has the details. Epiphany. Yeah, Elizabeth, today's ceremony was all about honored tradition and passing the torch to a new group of young people. Members who joined the George H.W. Bush Composite Squadron know they'll be working to serve their community. A change of command, military tradition that represents a formal transfer of authority and responsibility from one commanding or flag officer to another. Second Lieutenant Horn is transferring her title after one year of service to Cadet First Lieutenant Scott Wigginton. How crazy this last year has been. I'd like to thank, thank those who have persevered through it with us and welcome those joining us tonight. Uh, just happy to be able to have that more prominent role and be able to kind of uh, direct things in more of a direction that like I see them in my head, I guess. The George H.W. Bush Composite Squadron was established in early 2009, allowing members to fulfill missions of the Civil Air Patrol, including emergency services, disaster relief, and homeland security. Uh, we have been a key responder in almost every major incident that's occurred in the last 15, 20 years. Katrina was really our, our ramp up to the disaster relief uh, mission, if you will, mission category. Due to the pandemic, officials say membership went from over 20 cadets to less than 10. The commander says he's looking forward to adding more people to the team. Lots a lot of people. Uh, I'm super excited to, I, I hesitate to say rebuild, but rebuild uh, and just move forward and uh, put, on, put the past behind us. The group holds special meetings every Tuesday from 6.30 to 9. Anyone interested would have to be 12 to 20 years to be a cadet or 18 and older for a senior membership. Today, four new cadets joined the pipeline. Elizabeth.